Hello you guys and welcome to another episode of Try This. Today on Try This we are in my kitchen for a special as seen on TV product, the egglets. Now they claim in the infomercial that you will never have to peel a hard boiled egg ever again once you start using the egglets. The infomercial said that you get three egglets plus they're going to throw in a bonus extra three for $14.99. I went and I picked these up at Meyer for about $9.99 and I believe, yes, it says this comes with four egglets. So I think for $9.99 that's not a bad price if the product can do what it claims. So these are the four egglets that come with your, um, that are included and they're made with like a rubber silicone bottom. I guess that's maybe so you can kind of push the egg out once you've um, cooked it, but you get these nice little lids that screw on and off with the little the little handle right there. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I think they're all. Yeah, they're all. Ooh, what's this? You got a little piece of paper inside that says, "Use caution while using this product near boiling water. Product and contents will be hot. Wash with soapy water. Duh." because you know germs are gross. Spray the egglet with oil or cooking spray. Really? You guys in the infomercial didn't say anything about that cooking spray. So we're not gonna be using any cooking spray in the egglets today because your infomercial says nothing about it. And we wanna prove whether your infomercial is crap or not. Whether these egglets will hold up to the claims of the infomercial. So you guys, we have our eggs here, and I've gotten this measuring cup just to give me a, an edge of something to crack the eggs on. And we have our egglets. And they do have these little feet, so they do stand up. And we're going to attempt at cracking one of these eggs. Holy crap, that's hard. What? Oh crap. Okay, so there is one of the egglets. Oh, and I did determine that since the infomercial doesn't say anything about the cooking spray, I would leave two of them without cooking spray, and then I would leave two of them with cooking spray. And the two that have the cooking spray in it have this little black mark on the lid, so that way we can tell the difference. And we'll see which one comes out better or you know, whatever. So there's two of them right there. I had one pre-cracked because I wanted to try and see how well that would look on camera. So here is. It's actually a lot easier than I thought to get it in the, uh, the egglet. I thought it would be kind of difficult because, you know, the opening's very small. It's not a very big Egg. And I thought about trying to crack them on the actual egglet, but then I don't, I don't know if that would work. I don't, let's see. I don't think you'd be able, it's probably too soft. Yeah, definitely too soft to actually crack your egg on the egglet itself. I don't know. You can use the, oh, well, that didn't work as, ah! <laughs> you guys. You guys, that didn't work as planned. I thought, you know, maybe I could use the side of it to crack the egg, but nope. Failure on level one. So, we have our four egglets, and we are going to now put them in our pan of boiling water. So, you guys, in the infomercial, they just drop them in and they float. Just like that. Need to turn up my heat a little bit to get it back to boiling. So there are two of them, and here's the other two. I love how they just kind of float like that. They did say if you want to speed up the cooking time a little bit, you can cover it with a lid, but to leave the lid vented slightly, um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have any kind of 
natural disasters happening in my house with the pot boiling over, exploding, and me acting like a dumb dumb being crazy here on the film. So we are going to skip the lid. And now we just let them cook for 14 to 15 minutes. Well, they said 13 to 16, but I'm gonna do it about 14 minutes. That could be like the, the Mrs. Doubtfire thing where she lights her boobs on fire and then she goes, oh lordy, boob, flaming boobs, or whatever she does. <laughs> Cause my egglets burst into flames no. somehow. She no. She goes, oh shit. Yeah, she goes, oh shit. Whoa, she... fire, fire. Oh, and the spatula. Because, you know, on Try This, we're professionals. Crazy else? professionals, though. Mrs. Doubtfire, action! Oh, do you smell that, you guys? Oh, it's getting kind of warm in here. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, lordy! So you guys just finished cooking the egglets there they are right down there and in the instructions they recommend that you let them cool for a few minutes I don't know how long a few minutes is but um, it's been probably about five to ten minutes and we're gonna see how well these come out now do remember I have two that are oiled and two that are not oiled okay let's try our first one is going to be the one with the mark on it so this one has been oiled I used olive oil or vegetable oil, no olive oil. Yes, olive oil, that's what I used. And they say, they say to push firmly on the bottom to get it to just kind of pop out. I don't know you guys, this is, it's all like, ugh. They even said sometimes you might need to go around with a spoon, so hang on, let me grab a spoon and go around the edge to try and loosen it up. Okay, you guys, back here with my trusty spoon. To see if this will loosen up the egg around. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I see what they're saying. You need to kind of go around the edge and, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, crap it. Oh, I just busted my damn egg. Bust my ass. Okay, anyways, I think this one. I. Man, that just looks like a hot damn mess. I mean, you guys, seriously? That just did not. Uh uh. Uh uh. Not for no. If, if I was buying these for $14.99, like you said on your infomercial, absolutely not. For $9.99, I don't even know about that. Just. Here, we're going to try, since that was my first attempt, we are going to try doing the second. Ooh, hey, this one came out nice and different color. It's all nice and yellow colored. It's like a golden egg. Get rid of that lid. Fool. So you can see here, this is how the egg came out of the ones that I used cooking oil on. And they're cooked properly. But they look kind of, they look gross. The presentation is not very pretty. Not at all. They look like an ugly monster morphic, they're like a morphed piece of egg. Pretty gross looking. But they do taste good and they are cooked properly. So props to the egglet for that. But here is the one where I didn't use any cooking oil on. Oh, this one came out different. The yellow is like a little dot inside. And again, we're going to use our trusty spoon to go around the edge, like before, like they recommend. Oh, definitely. Right, right away, I can tell that not using the oil, it's, it's stuck inside more. But the spoon does loosen it up. And, ooh, and it does, oh, it does pop right out. They just... They fall apart, they, they're really ugly looking, they're just 
guys, for $9.99 for four of them or $14.99 on the infomercial for the set of six, I think it's better to save your money and just hard boil your eggs normally. So welcome to day two of the egglets. I decided that the first review that I did of the egglets wasn't really fair because after reading online, I discovered that the issue may have been that I was using olive oil, although the instructions didn't say exactly what type of oil to use. They just said use oil or cooking spray. Um, so I read online that a lot of people had a lot of success using the cooking spray. So I'm going to try that and see if we have more success keeping the eggs from sticking inside the egglets. I also learned that the cooking times um, that come with the instructions, they're not accurate at all. Um, I ended up either overcooking my egg or undercooking the egg and it just it didn't come out right. So I'm going to cook them the old fashioned way using the times that I would normally cook a regular hard boiled egg just in a pan. Um, we're going we're gonna to cook it at that time and ignore the times in the instructions. So while I'm waiting for my pan of boiling water to heat up, I am going to grab some eggs. Uh, two eggs here so we can do uh, two tests. Let's see um, if it comes out right. And I've got my hoop. Let's put that on the plate so it doesn't roll away. It'd be like Humpty Dumpty and the egg that fell off the table and broke. So I've got my egglets again, the four of them. And Yeah, another fortune, guys. Woo! I don't know. <laughs> just these. Every time I open some of these, and if they're new, you get that little piece of paper inside. This one it always makes me feel like I'm at a fortune cookie restaurant, or you know, one of those Chinese Chinese restaurants. Yes, Asian restaurants. They give you the little fortune cookies. Anyways, enough of my uh, babbling stupidity. So, here is my egglet cooking spray. We're going to get in there real good and spray it all in there. Oh yeah, that's real good. Ooh, yeah. Get that cooking spray all up in there. I think I might have used a little too much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't use cooking spray normally um, when I'm cooking because it's gross, it's toxic, it's not good for you. Anyways, um, so, but I just wanted to see if what everyone said on the internet was true and whether cooking spray would work or not. So, now I've got my egg. I didn't bring anything to crack it on. Now we're just gonna try doing it on this plate here. Move that. Ah! I'm just gonna move that box. Oop. Looks like that worked. Oh crap! <laughs> okay. So that worked, whoops, stick that back in the carton. So that is egglet number one. Let's see if I can get my egg crap all over my hands, ew. Okay, so this one has the cooking oil in it. Actually, there's quite a bit of cooking oil and you can see Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor just to make sure that this is in there, but you can see it's kind of, I don't even know. Anyway, so once I get my pan of water up to a boil, I will stick the eggs inside and we will see exactly, I'm gonna cook them in about 10 minutes. The 13 minutes seemed like it was overcooked. So I normally would boil eggs, just drop them in the pan and I would boil them at about 10 minutes and we'll see um, what the results are. So for the second egg, I'm going to try doing less cooking spray than the other one and we'll see if what kind of results that has. I'm not going to use as much as I did in the other one. I think I might have overdone it, which might be to the egglet's advantage. I don't know, but we're just going to use just a little bit. And there's not that much inside that one. And we'll get to cracking an egg. Uh, 
my egg cracking skills, mm -hmm. child, they could use some improvement. Mm -hmm. I am, you can tell I don't cook eggs very often. <laughs> About the only kind of eggs I eat are scrambled. So, you know, hard boiled eggs, ugh, I just, they're kind of, ew, I don't like them. Not at all. Scrambled eggs, mmm, give me some of that. Mm hmm, yeah. Okay. So, I have my second egglet. And you can see, I guess it's just as watery as the other one. I guess it's the egg and not necessarily the cooking spray, but anyways. So there are my two egglets. We're just waiting for our pan of water to get to a boil. Come on, little stove, go! And then we'll find out what the results are. All right, so. I've got my pan of water to a nice rolling boil. I have both of my egglets cooking sprayed and ready to go. We are going to drop them into the pan of boiling water and they will float just like they did before. And then I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. Set the timer for 10 minutes. And I will come back once the 10 minutes is up and we will see how these egglets came out this time with the cooking spray. Oh no, you guys, disaster, holy crap, no, it's not working. I think, hope, oh, abort mission, abort mission, hang on, abort mission. What the crap, you guys? I put them in and that's what happened, so hang on, I've got a, Redo, 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 hang on. Maybe I didn't put enough water in, I don't know. But I turned it off and I really haven't started to cook these at all, so we're just gonna add more water and see what happens. So I did learn one thing from that experiment, or rather, disaster, and that's the fact that you're gonna need a fairly deep pan when you're cooking the egglets because I believe my pan wasn't deep enough and that caused them to tip over. And when they tip over, I learned these egglets, they're not watertight. They don't seal to the best. They, they will leak. And that's all this white junk that you can see here floating in the pan, a little bit of the egg. When it tipped over, it fell out, it came out. And so now it's floating around in my pan looking all gross. Anyways, should not affect our test results for the egglets, not at all. They were only in there for like two seconds tipped over, leaked a little bit of the egg out, and then I had to pull them out and put more water in the pan and um, boil them again. Um, I guess the pan I used for day one was deeper, and I didn't realize that this is a new pan that I'm using, so anyways, as soon as this comes to a nice boil, we will test our egglets for the 10 minute time. No, 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 not the dark, not the, no! What the shit? Okay, you guys, so after that wonderful disaster, I now have my pan of water totally full and at a nice rolling boil. And I'm going to be sticking my egglets in there for 10 minutes. Hopefully this time they will float and not tip over. Well, everything seems good right now. Set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes and counting, you guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Egglets complete. And now we're going to take our egglets out and see exactly whether the cooking spray did a better job at lubricating them and keeping them from sticking to the inside. So these are my two egglets. I'm going to turn that off. Ooh, wow, those are ooh, hot. Okay, so those are my two egglets that I have there. Turn my timer off. Okay. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. Let's see if I can get this to come off without burning my damn self. Ow, shit. I think I'm gonna let these cool for a few minutes like they 
recommended in the instructions, just like I did last time. I just figured this time I'd see if I could try and immediately, you know, maybe you're Russian, maybe you're hungry, maybe you need to feed your kids before they run off to the school bus. Um, I just kind of want to see if you could, you know, open them, get the egg out while it was still extremely hot. So we'll let them cool down for about 10 minutes and then we will come back and try to remove the eggs from the egglets. Alrighty, I have let my egglets cool for about 10 minutes and this is the first one. That's how it looks like inside, just like that. And we're gonna see how easy it comes out. So I'm still gonna use a spoon, they recommend. Let's see if I can get it out like regularly just by pushing it. Oh, well, with the cooking spray, I don't even need the spoon. Thing just flew right out of there. I mean, I just, a little bit of pressure on here and it just, it came right out. I mean, that was, that was pretty impressive actually. And there you have, it's a little hot, but there you have the egglet and the egg that came out of there. It still doesn't look very pretty, but it, it looks, it's, it's cooked better. It's not overdone this time. It's not undercooked. So um, I will give it props. It finally cooked an egg properly. You just need to adjust the time. And using the cooking spray, it did come out. It came out easy. And we're gonna try the second one and we'll see how that one came out. Yeah, so this one I used more cooking spray in it and you can see it's kind of, yeah, like I'm dripping cooking spray everywhere because this thing is, I had too much, too much cooking spray, but this one should just fly right out of there. Oh yeah, that one, that one literally just bloop, just plopped itself right out there nicely onto the plate. And it's a nice, Actually, this one, I think I might have needed to cook this one a little longer. Um, if you can get the cooking times down correctly, the egglets do work. If you don't mind putting cooking spray in the egglets, they will work and your egg will pop out there nice and easy. Um, however, I don't think I'm going to personally recommend them because I don't care for using cooking spray while I'm cooking. I should be able to just naturally cook my food and not have to put any kind of chemicals in them or you know any kind of that nonsense have the extra added cost but um if you want something that is pre-prepared just run into the refrigerator pop out an egglet put it in your lunch box um works great if you don't mind using the cooking spray works great but that's going to do it for another review on try this Hey you, yeah you, yeah you, in there. Click that subscribe button, you know you wanna. Just click it, it's easy. And after that, smash that bell icon so you can be notified about future upcoming videos. And stay tuned for more from Tilted Tripod Media. And as always, thanks for watching.